Hello YouTube. We're looking at the bottom of my ThinkPad R51. Why is that? Got some RAM for it in the mail. <coughs> Excuse my voice. I have a cold right now. A really nasty one. But it, it came in these cute little anti-static bags. These are these are adorable. <laughs> Look at these. But yes, I got two gigabytes of PC2700 uh, RAM, which is DDR333. So let's get cracking. And uh, let's get started here. Let's go to my drawer of crap. Pull out my screwdrivers. <laughs> I believe this is where the RAM is. So this thing has 256 megs of RAM in it already, <clears throat> as you may know. <gasps> There's not a stick in here. That's because IBM's dumb idea was to <clears throat> put one slot down here and one slot under the keyboard. Now, I hear that's because of space constraint on the board itself, but still, that's just really stupid. Um, they should have just been able to make more room on the board for it. That's me complaining, but, you know, I'm not the engineer, so it's not my job. But anyway, let's put the RAM in here. Wow, apparently this RAM has warranty protection. Okay. Well, it's going in there anyway. With or without protection. Done and done. Now, that was the easy part. Let's get under the keyboard now. Now, what IBM did here is interesting. For the keyboard next to each screw, they have this little keyboard symbol here. Um, and you just undo all those screws, and then you can pull the keyboard up. So, I'm going to undo these. And do just that. So, stay tuned. Alright, so that was about four screws to get the keyboard up. There we go. Guy's a little bit hard to get out. And there's the other stick of RAM. There's the 256 stick that's in there. Now, the previous owner of this laptop, my friend Aaron, she complained that this laptop was just awfully slow, and, and believe me, it is, with that 256 megs in there. Um, and the main re it's slower than some other laptops that I've had with 256 megs of RAM, though, and that's for, but that's for a good reason. That's because, as you can see, there was only one stick in here. And DDR RAM tends to, or tends, no, it does, it runs in dual-channel mode. So if you have this 256 megs of RAM here, which is a low amount of RAM for Windows XP in the first place, Plus, the fact that it's uh, not running in dual channel, you have just crippled memory bandwidth coupled with a low amount of RAM, which just means a horribly slow experience. So, yeah. <laughs> not only that, I think the hard drive is also a 4200 RPM uh, drive as well. It's a 30 gigabyte um, Fujitsu drive, I think. I forget. Yeah, I think it's a Fujitsu drive. But in any case, that doesn't help matters, so... What I'm going to do, first pull the keyboard cable out, get that out of the way here, and replace this RAM here, because this RAM is just bringing me down, man. 256 meg, DDR333, and replace it with another one of these Patriot guys here. Uh, da, 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 da. And done. Now I can plug the keyboard back in, put all those screws back in, and we'll take we'll take a look at just how much faster this thing is. Oh yeah, I also uh, changed out the CPU to a faster Pentium M, but the computer doesn't run it any faster than 1.6. So I suspect that's either a chipset or a BIOS limitation of some sort. And I can't update the BIOS because I don't have a working battery yet, so... Once that's done, I'll try and update it. But for now, it will it has a, a better processor in it, but it only runs at 1.6. Hopefully, it improved the cache. Hopefully, the extra cache on the processor improves performance, though. So, there you have it. Let's put this, let's, uh, put this baby back together. All right, let's boot this baby up and see what happens. See how much faster it is.
should boot straight into XP. I don't think the boot time's any different. That is, oh, that's way better. Let's log in here. Oh, wow. Yeah, a lot of this is way better than it was. Oh, wow, yeah. Yeah, putting two gigs of RAM in there definitely uh, help things along a little, not only uh, making this a dual channel RAM system, but also uh, just generally giving it enough room, giving Windows enough room to do what it needs to do. Because at 256 megs, it was just agonizingly slow. Now this computer might actually be useful for something. Sweet. This system still hounds the hard drive when it boots up, so I'm thinking that this computer is slow because of the hard drive. Well, the RAM wasn't helping, but the hard drive was also making it slow, so I'm probably going to change out the hard drive as well. Since this is a 4200 RPM uh, drive, it's a good drive. It's a Fujitsu. I mean, Fujitsu drives, I've had very good luck with. I've never had one fail before. So... <coughs> um, so uh, I could find another drive I have that's faster and try that one out. Uh, so, yeah, at least it's uh, much. At least it starts up a lot faster and it can load things into RAM, like it uh, really couldn't before. Because it was hammering the page file on a slow hard drive. I mean, it was just bad. All right, I ended up doing something with this uh, ThinkPad. It's the next day now. I decided to put Linux Mint 13 on it uh, with uh, the Mate desktop. Even with that 30 gigabyte hard drive, it runs very nicely. So, there you have it, guys. This is what I'm going to do with it. I wanted this to be a Linux laptop in the first place, and that's what it's going to end up being. Where is the uh, system monitor? There it is. All right, here's what I have 2 gigs of RAM, 2 gigs of swap. There's the Pentium M processor up there. There you have it. The processor is a 2.13 gigahertz Pentium M, but it's running at 1.6, just so you know. And I think since I'm in Linux, we should do an LSPCI just to see what's in this really in this machine. Go to the terminal here. L oops L S P C I All right, look at that. There's the chipsets. Oh, okay, so it's some ICH four type of stuff is in there. All right. There you have it. That would be the IBM ThinkPad R51 and what I've done with it. It's going to be a Linux laptop. It seems to be a very good one. All it needs is a battery and uh it'll be all good. So, yeah, that 30 gig drive did actually end up working out for me. Didn't have to change that at all. Just needed the RAM and that was it. Hope you guys enjoyed watching this and have a good one everybody. Ciao.